welcome to our grammar class. Today we are going to do let's recall the page number 43 as revision. Alright? So let's see what we have got. Okay, in the let's recall part, the first question out here rewrite its sentences using the correct punctuation mark. Punctuation mark we have done. We have already learned in the class what are punctuation marks, isn't it? So, as you can see, out here, this full stop, question mark, exclamation mark, these are punctuation marks, isn't it? These are punctuation Marks. So let's go with it. Uh, full stop. That is punctuation mark. When we say something or give some information, we use a full stop at the end of the sentence. And such sentences are called statements. So when we say, uh, I'm, for example, I am eating lunch okay and then when you give some information here is my sister's phone number so I have uh, you know some examples to here out here when you say something I am listening to music so starting with capital letter all right and end with full stop you can see full stop out here so this sentence it's called statement, this kind of sentence. Now, second, starting with capital letter D. Dogs bark at strangers. Start, and end with full stop. Starting with capital letter and ends with full stop. And these kind of sentences are called statesmen. Okay? Are called statesmen. Now, if I write some more example, like I and going to I'm going to the market now out here I'll start with full stop and start with capital letter so these kind of sentences are called statements okay statement now this is for full stop now let's see for Next punctuation mark that we have learned in the class that is question mark. Alright, so definition when we ask something, we use a question mark at the end of the sentence, and such sentences are called questions. For example, what is your name? End with question mark. Next, can you see the birds high up in the sky? Question mark. Now, if I write, I can give some more example. For example, where do you live? Where do you live? And with question mark. You can write, you know, you can ask so many questions and that all comes under questions. Question ending with question mark. All right. Now if I if I write a uh, question like who is your best friend? Who is your best friend? And with question mark. So you can see all the sentence here ends with question mark. So that is why it is a Question. All right. So this is for question mark punctuation. We have used punctuation out here, and all the words start with capital letter for every sentence. Okay. Now let's move on to next punctuation mark. That is C. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. This 
is your x y position mark, isn't it? So when we want to express a strong feeling of happiness, sorrow, surprise, or excitement, we use an exclamation mark at the end of the sentence. You know, strong feelings when you feel, you know, sad, happy. In that, in those cases, we use some words, okay, to express the feelings. For example, now, hooray! Tomorrow we will meet all our friends. As you can see, and so exclamation mark, hooray! You know, this is time when you know when we are happy. We use this exclamation when we are happy. Hooray! We have won the match, isn't it? Now this kind of words. Second one. Oh no! I have torn my dress. You can see exclamation mark. Oh no! You know this kind of surprise. Okay, surprise. And then next. Yippee! I will soon meet my grandparents. Out here and with exclamation, isn't it? Yippee! This is also excitement. When you are so so much of excitement, we use this kind of words and ends with exclamation mark. All right. Now the last one. What? So here only we use exclamation mark. What? You have you brought a kangaroo to the class. Here also exclamation. Mom, you know this is kind of surprise, okay? So here we have used exclamation mark to show our certain feelings, sorrow, excitement, happiness, and all. All right. So this is these are your punctuation marks. So. Three, we have learned three punctuation marks. We have learned three punctuation marks. That is, full stop, question mark, and exclamation mark. And remember, your sentence always start with capital letter, okay, and ends with different punctuation mark. All right. Now let's do this one. Okay. Write sentence using the correct punctuation mark. So can you see the first sentence out here? First sentence out here is, my father is a farmer. Now as you can see, there is something missing or mistake is there. So first mistake out here, small letter M. As I've told you, a sentence always start with capital letter. And this is a statement. That's why we need to end this sentence with full stop. All right? This is a statement. We need to end this sentence with full stop. So let's try. My father is a farmer. Full stop. Okay? This is the correct one. We have used punctuation mark. All right, and the correct way of writing sentence. Now, next number, we go to school every day. Here also, capital letter is missing here, and full stop. Why? Why full stop? Because this is also kind of statement. So we write, we use capital letter first. We go to school. We go to school. Every day, every day, and sweet will stop. All right. Now next, here also as you can see, and is in small letter. So, and there is no nothing at the end of the sentence, isn't it? So we we'll write capital M. My sister won. An hour, an hour yesterday. Yesterday. What is missing here? Full stop. 
and capitalism. Now next, it is started with capitalism only, so it's right. Now Punit has planted all these trees. This is also statement. So what is missing? Cap sorry, full stop. Punit. Punit has planted all these trees. All these trees. What is missing? Full stop. Now the next we have to use punctuation for this also. What is missing? Capital M and full stop. So we write this one. Many years ago, many years ago, men lived in caves. Men lived in caves. Ends with full stop. This is also statement or so this, this one. Many years ago, men lived in caves. So this kind of information or statement. You are just saying. So this ends with full stop starting with capital letter. So this is for punctuation marks. Alright. Now let's see what we have got next. So this is for punctuation and this is represent for you all. For the topic, a chapter punctuation. Now let's move on to next. Okay. Out here in the B number, write the plural form of these words. These are the words. Now plural. We have learned in the class singular and plural, isn't it? Singular and plural. So okay, we all know that. Some nouns are made into plural. Some nouns are made into plural by adding. By adding s e s. I E S V E S. So some nouns are made into plural by adding S E S I E S V E S at the end of the word. For example, let's see singular and plural. Singular and plural. Singular plural. Now write one word. So that we can add S to make it plural. For example, if I write boy, singular. When you make this singular to plural, boy to plural, we add S. B O Y S. Isn't it? In the same way, E S. Which word? For example, if I say um, bench, B E N C H. Bench. When you make it a plural, bench to by adding es, benches. Es, benches. Now ies. Think of word singular. If I write baby, baby. Okay. So when you make baby to plural, it will be b a b i e s babies. And you know. I S E S S. All right. Now V E S. For example, if I write uh, wife, wife. So to make plural for this word, we have W I V E S wives. E S. Is it V E S? V E S wives. So this is how. We make plural for some nouns. Now, uh, there are some other words which, you know, 
when you make this singular to plural completely, it will completely change. It will completely change. Now, if I write word like there are some some plurals in which the whole word changes. Whole word changes. For example, now singular and plural again. Uh, so word type now one foot one foot now plural will be many feet isn't it so one foot for only one we say foot and for more than one we say feet isn't it change this singular to plural and some other words like man man to men m e n plural this is one man and many men okay now in the same way one woman one woman now for plural many women many women okay so this is how the word changes completely uh, for example for one tooth tooth okay one for one tooth we say tooth then many what do we do teeth many so you know sometimes you use s to make it plural for this kind of words so please don't do this many teeth teeth is already in plural and tooth is singular okay now this is the uh, just the uh, revision brief revision for you all to understand singular and plural now so let's go to the same b number that we have and let's recall. Okay. Out here. And the plural forms of these words. Man. One man. Many. Many. We say men. M E N. Men. Okay. Number two. Lady. Why change this into lady? I guess. L A D I E S. Ladies, okay, and diary D I A R I E S diaries Diary. bench to benches, isn't it? Leave V E S leaves, okay, pony. I-E-S P-O-N-I-E-S Ponies Plural We are making just plural Okay For singular These are like singular words given Now brush to Brushes Brushes Monkey By adding S only Monkeys Alright Then Cat Simple C A T S cats plural child this is different children child children one child many children so this is for singular to plural plural to singular and singular to plural all right now this is B number from here. Let's recall part. Now let's see what is there next. Okay, complete this table. Male and female. Okay, we have learned this male and female nouns in our class. Uh, male and female nouns. Uh, so son and you know boy. They are called male isn't it son and boy and girl and daughter 
they are called male sorry female now so this is we have already done and i hope you know that things so male it is given out here and female part out here so male is given son so what will be the female son female is daughter son son daughter then you can see b number two number in the female part is given grandmother so what will be the male grandfather isn't it grandfather so in move on to three male uncle female will be your aunt isn't it uncle aunt so move on to four in the female wife is given there so what will the male husband isn't it husband move on to five female is given niece what will be the male nephew so this is how we make male and female now we distinguish male and female now so we will keep it till here in the next class we will continue on let's record part in the next class so i hope you have understood this please do this at home and thank you so much and keep learning thank you